Right, we're going to look at the last two equations we need to know for our mechanics one exam. Now these are the last two Suvac equations, so once we've learnt these two, because we have to learn them because they're not on our exam, we'll have our full five. So, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, and S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So, there are two new equations we need to know. Right, now, as I said before, on the previous video, you need to underline the key points in a question. With any question, you need to underline them and draw a diagram for Mechanics 1. There's really no excuse for not doing them. Right, so, let's read this question and we'll go through and we'll underline it and use our underlinings to help us draw a diagram. So, it says, firstly, a particle is moving along a straight line from A to B with a constant acceleration of 5 metres per second to the minus 2. The velocity of the particle at A is 3 metres per second to the minus 1 in the direction of AB. The velocity of the particle at B is 18 metres per second to the minus 1 in the same direction. Find the distance from A to B. Now, let's go through and underline our key points. So we're told the constant acceleration is 5 metres per second to the minus 2. We're told the velocity at A is 3 metres per second to the minus 1. And we're told the velocity at B is 18 metres per second to the minus 1. So, we can use them for a couple of bits of information we know to draw a diagram. So, at A and at B, so at A, we're told its velocity at A is 3 metres per second to the minus 1. At B, it is 18 metres per second to the minus 1. And the acceleration is 5 metres per second to the minus 2. Now, we're asked to find the distance, so there's the distance s, but we don't need to know time and we're not told it. So, let's just write down what we know in SUVAT. So, SUVAT, we've got the final distance, the initial speed, uh, velocity, the final velocity, we know the acceleration, we don't know time, we don't need it. That's an S. Okay. Now, we need an equation, a SUVAT equation, that doesn't involve T. And if you look at the top one we've got, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, we haven't got T. Now, the problem is here, obviously, we're going to have to rearrange this equation to make S the subject at some point. But it's probably easier to write down the equation first and put in what we know and see where we can go from there. So, V squared equals U squared plus 2 a s so v squared is 18 squared u squared is 3 squared plus 2 times 5 times s so 18 squared happens to be 324 3 squared is 9 2 times 5 is 10 and we still got times that by the distance now it's a quite easy equation to solve so take away 9 from both sides and you get 315 equals 10s, so s is equal to 31.5 metres. Right, that's example one, but let's also look at an example where we're using both skills. So, here it says, a car is travelling along a straight road with a constant acceleration of 0.75 metres per second to the minus 2. The car is travelling at 8 metres per second to the minus 1 when it passes a pillar box. 12 seconds later, it passes a lamppost. Find A, the distance between the pillar box and the lamppost, and B, find the speed with which the car passes the lamppost. So, let's underline the key points. So, the acceleration, the speed it's travelling at the pillar box, the 12 seconds, because that's the time. Right, so now we can draw a quick diagram. So, Let's call A the pillar box and B the lamppost. So the initial speed is 8 meters per second to the minus 1. The acceleration is 0 0.75 meters per second to the minus 2. The time is equal to 12 seconds. We don't know what the final uh, velocity is, but we know we're trying to find the distance. So that's S. So... Let's write down what we know in SUVAT. So SUVAT, so the time is 12. We know the acceleration is 0 0.75. 
we don't know the final velocity, we know the initial, and we're trying to find the distance. Now, so we need to find an equation in this case without V. So if we look at our two equations we start off with on this video, we're given two equations. The second one happens to not contain V. The first one does because we're looking to find V squared. So we're going to use the second equation. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So let's just jot that down. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now, let's just put in what we know from our bit above into this equation. So we'll try and find the distance. The U is 8. The time is 12. Half times 0 0.75 times 12 squared. So, 64, sorry, 96, and 54 equals 150 metres. 150 metres. Right, now, we're now going to look at the second part, which says calculate the speed with which the car passes the lamppost. So, Let's yet again write down another S equals U, V, A and T. Now this time we actually know everything apart from the final velocity, which is what we're trying to find. The S is 150, because we just found that. The initial uh, speed is 8, the acceleration is 0 0.75 and the time is equal to 12. Now, so we're looking for an equation where we can find the... Uh, Final velocity. So let's look at the two equations we started off with for this video. Oh, look, the first, the first equation happens to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So we can find v, the final velocity. So let's use that one, plus the information we know, to find the final velocity. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So put in what we know. So v squared is what we're trying to find. So v squared equals... 8 squared plus 2 times 0 0.75 times by 150. Now we're not using the time, so we could if we want to go through and just cross that off if we want to. So 64 plus 225 is equal to 289. Now that isn't the final answer because that's v squared, so we need to make sure we square root our answer. And the square root of 289 is 17, so it's 17 meters per second to the minus 1. 